You need a thick skin to survive the shark tank and our first entrepreneur reckons he has just the product. Hi Sharks, how are you going? My name's Mark Berryman, I'm from Rhino Hyde. Um, I'm here today to ask for $80,000 for a 10% investment in the business. So why don't I let you write those figures down? No um, worries. I need you to use your imagination now, okay? So you've just gone out and bought yourself a brand new four-wheel drive. You bought the top of the range. You bought it in black because it looks really, really cool. You get it home, you uh, get the kids together in the car, pack it up, and you go down to the beach. Uh, problem is, this is what the track to the beach looks like. So that's your brand new paint job oh. on your nice black car. Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel the pain. So I've got the solution, and it's called Rhino Hide. The best part about Rhino Hide is it's completely removable and reusable. Uh, it's very, very simple to put on. It doesn't need any specialist equipment. Anyone can do it. It'll take you a matter of minutes. That's a rigid product. It is a rigid product. So it uses oh, wow. a high-impact ABS plastic. Um, cool. On the inside, it's held in place with high-strength neodymium magnets, and the internal face is lined with uh, neoprene. So it's nice and soft on your car, and you can tear around and do whatever you want. So look, guys, I'm more than happy for you to come up here and try and bash this car with a stick. Love to. And give the product a, a crack. <laughs> <laughs> look at those boys go. I know. We ready? Hang on, guys. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Show us this magnet thing. If you want to pull it off, you take it off. Yeah. The magnets are embedded in the panel. Right. So you can see those little dots around here. Such a boy thing, isn't it? Yeah. So what you need to do there, Glenn, is, is line up the front edge, because yep. the, the magnets are so strong. If you line up that front lip, yep. it just slots in place like that. Fantastic. So you can see how easy it is. So do you guys want to have a feel? Let me have a look at this. So that's it. So it's nice and soft but on the it, inside. It, it does seem to come off easily. Um, I did 100 k's an hour towing a boat up to Nalu recently, and that's about 90 kilometres of corrugations non-stop and stayed on the whole time. Well, well done. Now, the four-wheel drive market is massive. Yeah. How big is it? It's pretty big. If you're looking at the top five serious four-wheel drives um, in Australia, there's 100,000 models sold every single year. It's just to put this into perspective in terms of potential sales, um, at the moment my forecasts are on really, really low percentages and direct dealer sales um, within Australia. So everyone knows the Toyota Hilux, right? It's the most common four-wheel drive in Australia. I sell 27,000 of them per year in yeah, Australia. Got one, got one sitting in my garage at home. Right? <laughs> exactly. All, Every, everyone yeah. knows someone who has one themselves. In the US, the highest selling four-wheel drive is 55,000 per month. So the ultimate market isn't Australia, the ultimate market is get this into the US. What do you sell it for? Uh, uh, re retails at $16.50 at this stage. $16.50, and do you wholesale it at all? Or? Wholesale $1,400. So wholesale four. At, at the moment, um, I'm pre-sales. So, so you've made no sales? Not yet. Well, I've, I've made three. At this stage, yeah, I haven't no made sales. Those. How many, how many different types of panel do you need to make to service the Australian market? So at the moment I've identified five to six models. Only? Yeah, at the moment, just at the top end, because I've, I've done this all on my own to date. Um, it's just targeting that higher volume seller. How much does it cost to retool for a specific model? About 30,000, 30, so, 35,000. So you so, need so 80,000 bucks. So how right. many tools do you have at the moment? At the moment we've got the one for the FJ Cruiser. So what's 80 grand going to buy here, mate? So that's going to buy additional tooling. Yeah, so two or three, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'd be looking for two. OK. And you don't... I mean, you can't really patent this as an idea. I can. I've got the Australian Innovation Patent really? granted. Yeah. Is it uh, internationally... Uh, is it PCT or anything, or...? The PCT's pending at the moment. OK, that's, so, uh, so you've taken international protections or underway. Yeah, correct. And that's part of the investment. You've talked to the aftermarket? I have, yeah. Because, I mean, that's that's obviously the holy grail, isn't it? Well, for me, it's dealerships, so yeah. it's yeah. that... But, I mean, the dealer sells the car and then says, here's an accessory, the aftermarket supplies it. 
Correct. I mean, then, then you're going to sell thousands of these. So I think you're onto something. All right, mate, I'll kick this off. I'll, uh, I'll offer you the 80,000 bucks, mate, for 30%. I'll give you 80,000 for 20% and a $40,000 loan for one year or less uh, till you repay it for tooling. Subject to your patent and subject to um, making sure we can also take this into the US market because I want to explore that option. Um, look, I am. Um, I think there needs a lot more cash, like a lot more cash for the future. Yeah. So I'm actually going to bow out on this, but okay. I, I wish you luck, and I think you've got some great deals Thanks on very the much, table. Thanks, great. Um, I wish you all the best. I think it's fabulous. I might okay. even buy one if uh, if you get it all up and running. But I'm out. Thank you, man. I'm in 80k, 10%. Fantastic. Well, there you go. Hey, that's what you're after. Thank you very much for the that's offer. That's interesting. We got one offer from Steve, 80k for 30%. We got an offer from me, 80k for 20% plus a $40,000 loan. And we got Glenn down there who is offering you what you asked for, 80,000 for 10%. So you're going to have to differentiate between those offers and decide what you want to do. Oh, I'm not finished yet. You know, I kicked the football onto the field before with my with my first bid because I just wanted to stop the chit chat and get this going. No. Um, He's such a hero. He's still chatting. <laughs> so I'm happy for another another 80k at 10%. Okay, that's interesting. Mark Berryman has three sharks circling for a bite of his rhino hide car body protection business. So you're going to have to differentiate between those offers and decide what you want to do. So Mark, I'm going to give you some coaching, OK? Thank you. <laughs> All right, when you're looking for an investor, you are looking for not just about the cash, but what they can bring to the party. This is your turn. Thank you, Naomi. Well... Pleasure. If we could start that with you, Glenn. <laughs> Absolute pleasure, Mark. So I don't have a three-day growth. I don't have a red dress. I don't have a sexy English <laughs> accent. I don't have a smiling face. But what I do have is 21 years straight in business. I fully understand how to engage the consumer and, and get them involved in your business. And this is a, a consumer engagement product. Why don't you, you just ask for his resume? Oh, no, seriously. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> Settle in. Settle in for so a long Mark, haul. what you need is someone who's going to be on your journey and absolutely got your back and support yeah. you and ask you the hard questions so you don't make any mistakes Let as you go Let me summarise for you. He said he'd be a mentor. Steve. Mate, I, I'm a mad keen four-wheel driver. I, I actually do, I do regard my brush marks as a bit of a, hey, it's not a two-rack tractor. Yeah. If you know what I mean, but at the same time, I'd probably prefer not to have them, but at least I can point to them and say, at least I use the damn thing. I know where to get this made. We take the top three models that sell in California. We need, for your tooling, we can have different colours, right? Same tooling. Oh, correct, yeah, yeah. It's so the we, material have a, itself. we have a kind of a more female oriented colour scheme and a male oriented colour scheme. Yeah. We get a couple of celebrities to, we give it to them and they, they drive it. We go social media, and I, I think sales are in the thousands. All right, I'll match them, 80,000 at 10%. So you've got three offers, 80,000, 10%. The question should be is, can we each take 10% for 80 grand? So Mark, what are you thinking? You've got three sharks on the hook. Very unusual circumstance. Um, at the moment, I'm tossing out, do I take one or two? <laughs> is, there the, is there a third on the table? Yep. I, I don't think so. I think I end up giving away too much of the business. Who, who do you think you can work with, gut-wise? Gut In, well, I, I 
like Glenn and Andrew's real story, Steve. Oh, that's I'm over the moon. I could not be more excited about this and to have two sharks at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. At the actual equity and investment level that I wanted, you know, doesn't get better than that. That's my first rejection, Steve. Hey, I'll send you the know. prospectus, it's oh. okay. You've got to have a rhino hide to be a shark. Oh. <laughs>